Howdy, it's February 15th, and again, I'm going to break down the abortion deaths today into separate videos rather than do them all together, because again, I think that there's very, very different situations and different things to take into account. And the most recent death where the anniversary is February 15th was in 1971, and a 32-year-old woman named Doris was admitted to Doctors Hospital in Los Angeles by Dr. W. W. Williams for an abortion. She was admitted February 11th. And at that time in California, it was required that abortions be performed in hospitals. And this is, I want to bring up as an aside, that one of the things that the abortion lobby trots out to prove that legal abortions are safe and that legalization saves women's lives, yada, 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 they point out that admissions to hospitals for abortion complications fell after abortion was legalized. And well, of course, if she's already in the hospital for the abortion, you're not going to be admitting her for the complications because she's already there. So that's not going to count as an admission. So only the illegal abortions are going to be women who wind up getting hospitalized. And if instead of illegal abortions, they're doing them legally, the woman's already hospitalized, it's not going to be counted. So that's something I wanted to point out. So after the abortion, Doris was bleeding a lot, and they realized then that she had an ectopic pregnancy, So they um, and it ruptured, and they removed the tube. And uh, nevertheless, she stayed hospitalized. She had massive abdominal adhesions. On February 15th, they did an emergency hysterectomy to try to stop the bleeding, but Doris went to cardiac arrest during the surgery. And uh, it was originally classified as natural because of the cardiac arrest. However, after the autopsy, they changed the cause of death to excessive bleeding, which is what caused her heart to stop. And the manner of death was deemed accidental, which meant that she was injured uh, during either the abortion or the removal of the ectopic pregnancy. But the autopsy includes a note saying that the doctor doesn't want to sign the death certificate. And that's an indication that it was the abortion itself rather than the uh, treatment for the ectopic that killed her.